Hi everybody from a beautiful day in the Commonwealth. Today I'm in Concord, there's the Museum of Freedom, there's the hardware store, um, which you'll know if you've installed Sim settlements. Uh, and here is the Winchester Ammo Co. and that's what I've come to see today. It's the Winchester Ammo Factory and it's by Bud9961. And I have been so impressed with the two mods that I've already seen from them. So um, I was expecting great things of this and I have not been disappointed, I can tell you. So let me show you what it's about. Warning, there might be quite a few edits in this because I will get lost. <laughs> Undoubtedly, I'll get lost. Um, it's a big place. It is an actual factory that you can do whatever you want with. It's a settlement style building um, and so you can decorate it however you want. You can make whatever factory you want. It's a big blank factory floor for you. Um, but wow, when you come in, look at this. He's done so much. It's just awesome. I love it. Um, so yeah, colourful. It almost feels like I'm in a bunker. Look at that. That is stunning, isn't it? Wow. Okay, so yeah, this is just something else. I was very surprised and uh, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting from a factory. But I wasn't expecting it to be quite as comprehensive as this is. There's a terminal here for the reception. Okay, so you can ignore that emergency alert that's just a, a nice bit of um you know a story by the mod author <laughs> and actually if you read some of these things they're very amusing i mean you know they're just there for your amusement really and i love that <laughs> remembering what everybody wants for their coffee orders there are various terminals in this building and uh, yeah, there's a lot of that. It's a lot of fun. All right, so this would be your general factory foyer, I guess. And then coming on through here, you've got a break room. We all need one of those. There's uh, drinks in the machine and coffee. And wow, I mean, it's big guys. There's a couple of police protectrons here and you can unlock them using that terminal. I'll show you the stats for it as it is at the moment. Okay, so zero food, zero water, zero people, 300 power, zero defense and zero beds. So like I say, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Uh, and um, you know, you'd get defense automatically from these two, although clearly you're never gonna get attacked here. So that's fine. And you may not even want to use it as a settlement for, for people, you know. You may just want to keep it for yourself and actually turn it into a player home. Got a boardroom type of place. <laughs> you can imagine having their morning meetings. This might be the secretarial pool. It's great, isn't it? So unexpected. I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting all this extra stuff. A canteen with a complete kitchen. Very nice. I mean, you could move in here, couldn't you? You could actually live in this place for sure. Um, going down to the basement area, down here is where you'll find your workbench and other bits and pieces. It's a big room. Nice. The maintenance room. Oh yeah, there's a lift that'll take you back up as well if you don't want to do the stairs. I like it though. I really do feel like I'm in a vault. It's very fab. All right, so that's this end. Uh, oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I was just thinking, have I been in there? No. Nope. This I guess would be the hub of the place where all the power etc is. You don't have to hook anything up. I mean, you know, it just is, you know. I'm trying to get away from the thought that oh well it's a settlement because it isn't really and now we're the other side of the boardroom but it could be if you wanted it to be you know it's entirely up to you what you do with it all right so going the other way got some stairs to go up it's of art on the walls get a viewing platform look at that close up and uh, oh my god 
This reminds me of being at school. Communal showers. Oh god, I hated that so much, I can't even tell you. What the hell? Do, do they still have to get naked all together in schools these days? I do hope not, because it scarred me for life. <laughs> Alright, going on round. PMI probably, eh? This might be another secretarial office, or just general office. And restrooms for boys and girls. I don't think that one works. Quite a number of them do. Okay, and here's the massive factory floor. So just look at that. All hooked up to those generators down there. What would you build? I'd be really interested to know what you would do with this. I mean, it's giant, isn't it? And then just up here, you've got all the... Well, it's like a control room, I guess. Uh, with buttons. They don't actually do anything yet, but... Um, I guess... I don't know. I don't know whether they would. So there's some materials down there, as you can see. Yeah, this is... Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this place. I know I want to do something, though, you know? And then going on through here, I guess this would be the big boss's office. Here's your secretary. And here's your office. Nice, isn't it? I find this very immersive. I just think it's so unusual. CEO's terminal. Now I feel very important. <laughs> office of Oliver Fisher. Appointment calendar. Oh, and safe, safe control. There's a safe in the corner of the room here that's what he had going on that day off a bribe that made me smile okay so yeah nice and there's the safe and it does have stuff in it the taking there are radios all over the place as well I haven't really pointed them out but the whole building was full of music when I first came in here and there's another staircase going down and keep an eye on your typing pool or you know I don't know this just reminds me of Chandler from Friends do you remember the at the very beginning when he was working in a cubicle you could make all these into cubicles for people couldn't you and he was smoking and he's hiding the cigarette in his drawers <laughs> oh dear anyway okay we've been here let me try and find somewhere we haven't been. All right, well, somehow, miraculously, I think I've covered just about all of the main features of this place. So, I'm going to leave it here with that view. Do let me know what you would do with this place. Would you turn it into a factory? And what would you build? Obviously, Robot Springs to mind, but I don't know. I've never even thought about that aspect of the game. I've never tried to build anything like that. So, I'm going to have some fun and see what I can do with it. Anyway, I will call that the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be keeping my eye on this mod author because so far, three out of three amazing mods. And so take care and stay safe, everybody. I'll see you soon for the next one.